Hi, this is Paul in the 609. Welcome to my channel. So um, I took some time off and uh, drove up to coast. Um, I went to um, Pismo Beach and um, the San Luis Obispo um, area. Um, you know, I went up there to, you know, chill with the wife and uh, we had a good time. And while I was up there, uh, I visited a Lego store and two uh, comic book stores. So uh, let me show you the video to that. And then after... I'm going to show you what I end up picking up.
So hopefully you like that video. Um, so let's get into what I ended up picking up. So the like I mentioned, uh, there was a Lego store. It was called uh, Bricks and Minifigs, um, SLO. So um, I have a, uh, a, a nephew and he, he's really into um, uh, Star Wars. Um, he's into Legos. So initially we ended up buying him something, but he already had it. So we had to go back and return it and pick something else. So we ended up getting um, like these little minifigs. Like we got, um, we ended up getting like two uh, snow troopers and then a, um, uh, one of the uh, rebels, a rebel soldier. And then we also picked up some um, some Hoth, um, a pack of Hoth uh, uh, Rebels. And this one, yeah, pretty much has to put together. It looks like you could do like uh, three, uh, three uh, Rebels and then also do one of these uh, laser cannons. So that was pretty cool. And then the last thing we ended up getting I think he really like. I mean, he just had a birthday, so you know we want to spoil him a little bit. So that's what I end up getting at that store: um, bricks, minifigs, um, and yeah, and minifigs SLO. And then after, I end up going to uh, Dr. Kane's uh, comics and games. And you know the the thing uh, with uh, that store. Uh, I met the owner and his name was Patrick and the dude, dude was the nicest guy, you know, um, you know, it's, um, not the biggest comic book store, but for what he ended up having inside his store, I mean, he has like pretty much every new issue that comes out, um, an amazing, uh, kid section, um, a lot of, uh, graphic novels, um, and then in the, and tucked in the corner, he had some um, back issues, and then he also had some uh, key issues um, that were slabbed. Um, but this is what I ended up getting at his 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 place. Yeah, I ended up getting the uh, the trade of Samurai Jack, uh, Lost Worlds. Um, I actually have the um, the individual comics, um, but you know the thing is is that. You know, um, if I always wanted to go back and read them instead of taking them out of the bag and board, I could just, just read this. So I'm really happy to have this. I didn't know he had it. Uh, I did see it and I had to have it. So I ended up getting this. And besides that, when you when you make a purchase at his, um, at his shop, he, um, he gives you stickers. So I'm going to get one of these stickers and ending up putting them up there with uh, the rest of my stickers that I received from uh, comic book stores or from other collectors. So yeah, I really appreciate th this from uh, Patrick. Yeah, thank you, Patrick. So, and lastly, uh, they have a um, a place uh, out there in San Luis Obispo. It's um, Captain Nemo uh, Games and Comics. And they pretty much have everything. I mean, they have like, um, Old record players, uh, uh, records, uh, video games, uh, comics, uh, board games, miniatures. I mean, pretty much anything you could think of um, uh, as a collectible. They they pretty much have it. I mean, they're three stories. It's it, the place is just humongous. Um, but I went there. I think the last time we were down there was probably like eight years ago. And I remember that they had a large selection of uh, role-playing aids, uh, D and D, uh, Pathfinder, um, White Wolf, um, Warhammer. I mean, they have like all kinds of um, uh, board games, role-playing uh, games, um, dice, uh, miniatures. Yeah, I mean, it was just a place is crazy. Um, just that one uh, part of um, all the all the books and all the um, yeah uh, yeah it, that whole like aisle 
uh, of shells uh, was all that. So this is what I ended up getting. You know, the thing with me is I like um, uh, cheap uh, role-playing aids. Um, you know, the thing is, is like um, some some uh, books, they advertise that they're D&D &D compatible. But pretty much what I love about D&D &D is that you can make it compatible. You know, all you need to do is change a, a few stats or whatever, and you can use it in your campaigns. So this is like one of the things I ended up getting. It's a uh, true, uh, true 20 uh, worlds of adventure. And what it is, is it's just a, a bunch of different uh, adventures um, set in different worlds. So I am getting that. And this was only like eight bucks and a pretty, pretty thick volume, you know? Um, so yeah, I'm going to read through this um, and um, use it in my, one of my D&D games. Another thing I picked up was this, uh, Legions of Hell. Uh, this was also, I think the last one was $8. Yeah, this was $8. You know, and these things are, are not new. I mean, these came out like, well, where's the date on this one? Uh, I don't see a date, but it looks kind of old. Maybe I missed it. But this is D, D, um, D20 compatible. Um, so it looked really interesting. You know, the thing with me is um, I think the the most uh, interesting uh, adventures are the ones when they kind of dabble into the demonic uh, uh, side. So, yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. Um, yeah, eight bucks. And then I f found these... Um, these Warhammer magazines it's called no, Qu no Quarter Magazine, and they're only like three bucks. And right now, you know, with um, uh, Henry Cavell, how he they're going to do a kind of like a Warhammer, um, I think a movie or a show or whatever. Um, you know, Warhammer is going to be really hot. So I end up picking a bunch of these up. Uh, this one is uh, issue 27. Issue 29. And the thing with me is I know nothing about Warhammer um, as far as how to play, um, you know, uh, the, the, the lore, any of that. But what I do know is that um, it's really popular and I've seen the miniatures that go with this. And I, I for one, love miniatures. Um, I collect miniatures. And, dude, the sets that come out of these... Um, uh, Warhammer boxes are, they're just insane. So, and this is issue 30. Issue 39. And this is the last one. Issue 42. Yeah, and again, these were just three bucks. And I just couldn't pass them. So, that's pretty much what I end up getting. Uh, you know, the thing is, is that um, my wife and I, we love going to Central Coast, uh, Pismo Beach, uh, San Luis Obispo. It's just a fun area. A lot of breweries, uh, good food, and a lot of rest and relaxation. So um, hopefully you loved everything that I picked up. Um, thank you for visiting my channel. And as always, peace, guys. Happy collecting. Thank you.